a wet, miserable day here today in Cully Hanna, which I think reflects the mood of the people here today as we gather with heavy hearts in the heavy rain as South Armagh says a final farewell to her adopted son, volunteer Brian Keenan, who will shortly make his way back to Belfast where people there will get their opportunity to pay their last respects to a brave soldier, a thinker, a doer, a master of the written word, a strategist, a master orator, a friend and a comrade who used all the above qualities throughout his life in the fight for Irish freedom. Brian Keenan was a unique individual, a volunteer in Oakland Town since the late 1960s. He was multi-talented, fulfilled many roles and held many positions and spent the majority of that time in the leadership of the army. He was instrumental in bringing the war to mainland Britain in the 1970s and spent 14 years in English jails. He also served prison sentences in the south and led the escape from Port Leash in 1975 when volunteer Tom Smith was killed. He himself was shot and injured on that day. Brian is a Republican icon, knowing the length and breadth of this island and further afield. He was admired and looked up to by Republicans all over the world. By his actions and words, he reflected and could articulate exactly what we as Republicans stand for. All during his life, his honesty, integrity and determination shone through, earning him respect from all quarters, both home and internationally. He was a dedicated and committed volunteer, a revolutionary through and through, an inspirational leader, a man of great wisdom and vision. He was a progressive thinker with an instinctive ability to bring a realism and practicality to any given situation. He personified struggle, living his life and leading as a committed and uncompromising revolutionary Republican. A student of Tone, Connolly and Meadows. He knew that for struggle to be successful, you have to bring the people with you and be able to adapt to any change in political situation. He believed just as Connolly believed, in constitutional action in normal times, in revolutionary action in exceptional times. Many are the poorer for his passing. Few could match his commitment and integrity. His college more in our Maka has. Vive Allahat Arish. Archa is comrade. Tawidge Bolcha in you, Akivana Brian Keenan, Publock Tani Stario, Oglock Ilshock August Cameron. We're gathered here today in memory of Brian Keenan, a historic Republican, a loyal volunteer and leader. We are marking the passing of someone who meant so much to all of us in many different ways. To Brian's immediate and extended family, his passing has caused sorrow. Very few people 
become a legend in their own lifetime, but Brian certainly became one. He was a dedicated Republican who literally spent his life working to achieve the aims and objectives which so many people have laid down their lives. His death leaves a massive void in all of our lives. I suppose we all have our own very fond memories, stories and experiences of Brian Keenan. For me personally, he was an inspiration. Brian's greatest gift of all was his humanity. He set an example for all of us and we all learned so much from him and this struggle was enriched for him being a part of it. So comrades, today we are commemorating one of the greatest Republicans that has been ever made and that has been ever part of this struggle. And that is no overestimation, not at all. Brian Keenan has touched and influenced the course and direction of the Republican struggle like no other person I know. I am personally broken with grief over the loss of this great man. But I am also immensely proud to have been able to call this great Irish man my comrade and my friend. Brian Keenan's dedication to the Republican struggle was unswerving. Brian loved the IRA. He was passionate about his republicanism. He was totally unselfish in his commitment. And he personified all that is sound about our struggle. He was never a warmonger, but he had a justifiable sense of pride in the IRA's ability to take on and fight the British Army to a standstill. His pride wasn't in glorifying or glamorizing war in some elitist sense. It was pride in the ingenuity and talent and ability and courage of the mostly working class men and women who rose up against a numerically stronger, much better armed and imperial military power. But he saw the IRA as an instrument. His commitment was to the people and to the Republic. The army was a means to that end. He believed in the primacy of politics and he understood the need to build Sinn Féin as the vehicle of Republican struggle. It was his working class politics and his Republican and socialist principles which were the constant guide for him through four decades of unstinting activism. That was his hallmark, plus an ability to attract and work together with other highly competent and talented men and women to motivate and inspire and encourage. Marching O'Journey, and a tribute to Marching O'Connor, had a few fuckle that I think suited Brian Keenan. I think the poem in English is called A Tree Has Fallen. The fake Dominic, a yuckish, Thrall the Clerked, a lean Dorak, Gor Squeal, or a yucky Nowed, the Cara Fame, Slan O I to Chris, Mahara, Alan the Ree, and Fuckle, my far Ditsa Martian. You often boiled with fury. Your tradition's dereliction swelled your heart to bursting. But neither friend or enemy escaped your abrasive tongue. Much is forgiven the king of the world. Much will be forgiven you. Brian only looked forward to the future. And that's what he would want from us, to look forward to the future. Slan, Bran, a store. Slan.